Hello, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to episode number four of our Sunday devotional series. My name is Josiah, also known as Purple Lightning, and let's hop into the video. Well, everyone, in today's video, we're going to talk about peace and hope in Romans 5, 1 through 5. So I'll start off by reading it, and it starts out in uh, Romans 5, 1 through 5. I'm reading in the NIV here. Verses 1 and 2 say, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. Verse 5, And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Now, I'm not going to go through each verse, but I'm going to focus on three and four first. Three says, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. So suffering produces perseverance. And then in verse four, it says perseverance produces character. Uh, and then after that, it says, and character hope. And then in verse five, it says, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Now what all this is saying is that the Holy Spirit gives us hope, and it gives us that hope through God's love. And with that hope comes peace, because we also have peace from God's love through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, I was going to end this video there and just pray and then that was going to be it, but then I read the next couple verses and remembered what they were. And I'm going to read them and add them into this uh, just to make this video a little bit more filling. Uh, verse 6 through 8, verses 6 right here, 6 and 7 say, You see, at just the right time, while we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. And then verse 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Now that gives us the most hope and peace that anyone could ever imagine knowing that while we were still sinners christ died for us and sacrificed us sacrificed himself to save us and now i'll pray and bless this video bless you guys and end this video uh dear lord i come to you in prayer for this viewer that is watching this video right now um i thank you that you could help them find my channel and see this video to give them some encouragement i pray that you would give them uh a, a tremendous amount of peace and hope and fill them with your peace and hope that that no one else can comprehend or can come from anything earthly. Uh, I pray that you would bless them and bless their family. And I pray that as many people as you want to encourage would see this video. In your precious name I pray. Amen. I thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the other videos in this playlist. Uh, and I should have these coming out every Sunday. This is the fourth one in a row, so that's pretty much a month straight that we've been doing these. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, I hope you guys are too. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I love you. God bless. Bye.